Hello everybody, welcome back to Electro Anarchy. Today, wonderful day, it's time for Hacker Box. Uh, this is, I guess it would be the uh, November box. Uh, just came in the mail today and uh, I'm interested to see what's in here. Uh, first off, the last video I shot of the Hacker Boxes, I wasn't exactly in the best of moods, so I kind of you know, blew through it and really wasn't all that great with it. And I deeply apologize, but this one I'll try, I'm in a better mood today, so. Let's see, uh, let's see how it turns out today. All right, first off, I notice, yeah, if I can get this open without ripping everything out, different colored paper. We got some black paper this time. Typically, it's a blue. Let's put that to the side for now. Hey, we got a hacker boxes, yin, yin yang, digital. That's pretty cool. Ooh, hey. This looks sweet. What is this? Ooh, this is an Altera board. Max 2 Altera. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is this any kind of specific dev board? Alright, I want to check this out. That is really, really cool. Solderless breadboard. Alright, can always use those. Yeah, that's a lot. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Alright, we got some LEDs. And is this a voltage regulator or is this a. Let's see, what is this? 70805 CV. So this should be a 5 volt voltage, 5 volt voltage regulator. Okay. We got us uh, some good old pins. Can I, can I ever have enough of those? We got us an extension. And I am going to assume that it will go in there. Yep, absolutely. And we've got something really cool here. We have. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Check this out. You see it? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we should be able to hook into uh, pins. Yeah, so these look like they're about to fall apart. We should be able to hook to. A lot of times you'll see these on an oscilloscope or something like that when you're trying to hook to a specific pin on a microchip or something like that. Uh, but these work really good for, you know, hooking to, let's say, you want to do this number right here. Let's see what I'm doing here. Here, you can hook to that, or you can hook to a. You can't really do it to these because these are a little bit small. But for example, if you wanted to connect to that port right there, you want to make that connection. You can make that connection, and it's stable enough for testing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it for you know doing anything major, but uh, you know for testing and stuff and reading values that would work. All right, so we have a a USB. Port. What is that? Mini? Yeah. Standard mini. Okay. And we have another USB to a power socket, which I would assume. Yep. There's. Now we get our power here. Alright, so we have an Altera USB blaster. And so that looks like it's probably going to be. Our, in, our input output interface for the Altera board. Should connect like that, connect like that, go in there, and should be able to hook this USB up and pop it into a computer. One thing I'm worried about though, on a lot of these Altera boards, and one of the reasons why I don't use them so much, is their software can sometimes be proprietary and Windows only. And a lot of times their development uh, environments uh, do not, they have no use for open source. So everything is proprietary. You have to, you know, use trial versions and uh, they're time limited. Uh, now, I don't know if this is the case or not, but I have run across several in the past and I refuse to use that crap because they don't, 
you can't use their tool kits. You, you know, it's, it's a big pain in the butt. Uh, this may not be that case. I don't know. Okay, so we have a logic analyzer. Uh, Sale? S A L E A E. Say. Saley? Saley? Hmm. Interesting. Looks like it's 24 megahertz, 8 channel uh, logic analyzer. I uh, wonder if. No? Hey. Should we go into this? there. I wonder if this is just a... Fuck the rattling. Okay, so we got a logic analyzer and a USB blaster. And we got something here. It's a black case. Hmm. What do we have here? 67C72RKE4. There's also a 54E4, so 61AS5. CY1HKE4. Hmm. Don't know exactly what those are. But, uh, let's see what that is here in a minute. Okay, so we've got a uh, 9 volt battery adapter. And we have female to female jumpers. And that is it for the box. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have a Digital lock, uh, logic. Hmm. I have to look up a little bit more on this. What this has? Okay, and or. Okay, 7408-7432-7474. Looks like right here, 74HC08, so 7408, so this is going to be our AND, okay, 7432, this one here is our 7432. And then that would mean 7474, which is your 7474. Okay. So they're just logic chips. So you got a flip flop and four. Okay. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use that in. But uh, it looks like you probably use this to set up your CPLD. And then you use this as a logic analyzer and I'm not sure hmm. I don't know I have to figure this out uh, there's definitely some uh, some interesting stuff in this box all right, so let's see. We got an Altera CPLD. Got a cool little sticker. We got a box of some logic chips. We got a jumper for the Altera. We got a logic analyzer. I'm, well, I'll have to see later. Um, and then we got a USB blaster. Uh, I'm going to assume that's for programming that. Not sure. Uh, got a USB cord. 
Got some cool little uh, jumpers. More jumpers. Uh, some components for something. 9 volt jumpers. This. This. And I'll tell you what, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in this box. Um, and, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that I have a, you know, I don't use Windows. I don't use Mac. And when it comes to the CPLDs and the Alteras, uh, I really wish anyone doing electronics like this for hobbyists would stay away from this stuff. Now, I could be wrong. There might be some packages and things to, to build um, this software. I haven't looked in a while, but the last time um, I, I looked at this, um, I decided it, it was just too commercial. Um, there was too many restrictions on it. You just couldn't create software and share it with other people. Uh, you had, everything was had to be licensed, and every had the, everything had to be used through uh, their software in their way, and it was just a big pain in the butt. So hopefully that's not the case, and hopefully this is actually a really good box. But if it turns out that this is indeed uh, one of those uh, cases where you have to use their software, I, I'm really going to be ticked off. But anyway. Hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if there's something that I can use this for in a project, I uh, definitely will. Uh, I'm going to be starting to work on some GUI projects and some different things uh, in the future. And stay with me and uh, please watch that stuff. Uh, if you like that vid this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know why. Uh, so that way I can know how I can tune my channel around what people like. Uh, and as always, Guys, take care. See you next time.